Good themes are essential for retro characters. When I say retro character, I mean a low poly model with a small, unfiltered texture. These tips apply not only to characters but to all sorts of 3D models. It's important to place themes where they are least visible. If you're unsure where that should be, then first figure out what type of clothing your character will wear. After that, it's just a matter of inspecting actual clothing. So if your character wears a jumper, then look at seams on your jumpers. When dealing with the head and face, your initial instinct might be to separate the face to minimize stretching. However, this can make it challenging to hide the seam. Instead, start the seam at the frontal bone and continue across the top of the head and down the neck. This can cause a bit of stretching at the top of the head, but it's usually not an important part of the head. If that's not the case, then consider unwrapping hair as a separate UV island. This can be necessary for characters with thick hair. It doesn't matter how well you place your seams, if they're crooked, they will be a lot more noticeable. Since retro characters use small textures, every texel is visible, and that makes it easier to spot seams, which can be quite distracting in some cases. Straightening edges will cause some stretching, which is fine, especially if you plan to use a fine texture mapping in the engine. Sometimes straightening an edge causes excessive stretching. In that case, don't force it and leave it as is. You don't have to straighten every edge, just the seams. With straightened edges, there's one final step, snapping the vertices to pixels. Skipping this step can lead to issues such as texels being split or misaligned UV islands. It's quite easy to do in Blender once you've figured out what the resolution of your texture will be. Be careful though when snapping vertices because it can cause some of the borders to become crooked again. Pay special attention to the face, any imperfections here will stand out prominently. You might wonder why should you put in the effort to hide UV seams when old school games featured visible seams. While you're not obligated to follow these tips, I believe it's essential to strive for the best possible outcome. Avoid using retro as an excuse for low quality models. Please let me know if these tips were useful to you.